This week we solved a problem my wife had with a bunch of clutter on her desk. And it was easy, cheap, and really cute. So put down your tools guys, it's time for a make or break. Hey guys, welcome back to Make or Break. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And this week we solved a problem that his wife Jen had with just having too much stuff on her desk. Yeah, we kind of came up with a plan to put more of that junk on the wall. And here's how it turned out. So my wife actually suggested this solution. She asked for a board that would have three slots for documents, a whiteboard, a cork board, a place for her markers, and if possible, a shelf for her Echo Show, which we use to communicate between offices around here. So we started off with a half sheet of half inch plywood and cut it down to three foot by three foot on the table saw. In the process, I also cut off a three inch shelf that would hold the document slots and the echo. For the two boards, I wanted to stack a couple sheets of quarter inch plywood, so I cut those out next. I needed to cut out the supports for the document slots and at nine inches, I couldn't fit them on my miter saw. So I used our cross cut sled instead and that worked just fine. Each one of those supports needed a little notch at the top, which I cut on our miter saw. I laid out all the pieces so we could kind of get a feel for where it would all go, and so far it looks pretty good. Then I was going to need some strips to nail over the document slots, and I found this nice looking piece of quarter inch plywood with a kind of cool pattern on it. So I cut the strips out in order so I could maintain the grain pattern on the front of the board. These are going to look awesome. Next, I started gluing up the shelves and supports. I had planned on using some brad nails from the back, but after I got it all glued up and clamped down, I realized I could just take a break and let the glue do its thing. Later on, I applied some lacquer to the pieces that would stay natural, and then I let it dry with the glue. The next day, Sarah went down and painted the main board black and the edges of the pieces that would end up being our cork and marker board. Once that was dry, I marked out the locations for the boards and glued the first layer down. I clamped some large 2x12s to them to kind of hold them as flat as I possibly could get them. And I knew this wasn't going to be perfect, but the next layer would add screws, so I wasn't too worried about it. For the second layer, I pre-drilled and countersunk the holes, and then carefully screwed them down, not wanting to rip out any of this thin wood. Next, I used our brad nailer to nail down the front slats using my square to make sure they were all aligned and perfectly spaced apart. Next, I got this peel and stick marker board sheet, cut it to size and applied it to the board. I carefully trimmed off the excess and that board was done. Then I grabbed this extra cork board we had from our kids study pods that we built last year. I cut it to a rough size and then applied as much glue as I could to the board. Then I laid the corkboard material on the sheet and used those 2x12s again to kind of clamp it all down. I left it for a full hour to make sure the glue set. When it was dry, I once again carefully cut the excess off with my utility knife, but boy did that end up looking cool. My wife found these rose gold wire baskets on clearance at Staples that are designed to hang off another wire rack. To make them work on our board, I ended up sawing off the hooks in the back and then drilling holes in the bottom plate. After positioning them on the board, I carefully screwed them in place. Finally, I wanted to position the Echo Show so it was facing down instead of up. I ended up using the power plug on the back as a support. I drilled a hole the exact size of the plug so it would stay in the board while it was plugged in, helping to aim the show at the right level, and this actually worked out pretty well. After that, we screwed a simple French cleat to the back and then the other half to the wall in Jen's office. After leveling the cleat on the wall, we hung it in place, we got the show all plugged in, and then we let my wife decorate it. And here's how it turned out. There you have it. See, super easy. Like you said, easy, cute, and all the things she and said cheap, in the beginning. And cheap. And cheap. Yeah, it was. It wasn't that expensive at all. But my wife loves it. Does a great job of keeping things out of the way. One of my favorite features, though, was having that Amazon Echo Show, which we use for communication around the right. house. So having that at the you know perfect height, angle, everything for her, I think is just great. But yeah, she loves it. Clean up her desk. I think we have a happy customer this week. Last week, Rob built a giant fire thrown out of Did. one board. You can watch <laughs> that right here. We want to thank Hart for sponsoring this episode and reminding us once again that we can build anything we can imagine if we do it with Hart. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. All right, break's over. Let's make something.